I call this the art of doll making, Indian doll making. And uh, I started uh, building uh, dolls like this when I was a young girl. And uh, more or less I was forced to because uh, we didn't have any money and uh, our arts and crafts weren't selling very good. And, uh, and at one time these dolls were in demand. People wanted them from the east and different parts of the, the country because they they were dressed in full regalia and uh, right now this thing don't look like very much but eventually he's going to have complete clothes and his uh, he'll, his feet will be encased in moccasins and his uh, body will have a shirt and perhaps some kind of uh, ornaments for his uh, chest and right now he's bald but he will be uh, having a head of hair and he's uh, faceless but like I said he will have a face and uh, that's what gives him character and then they uh, will have some some of them have full gauntlets others have just just a hand with uh, maybe bracelets or, or uh, things that adorn them and most of them are made so that they look like somebody that in the past somebody dressed like that or maybe one of your favorite people you know had certain things that they liked and so therefore when you made a doll you kind of depicted somebody that you cared about or uh, somebody that uh, you thought was nice looking and some some girls would say oh this is my handsome man and they would uh, continue to uh, dress him up like they they would uh, make fancy clothes for them and things like that well it got to be where mom and I would build dolls and we'd uh, fix them so that people could uh, stand them on maybe on a dresser or on uh, somewhere where, you, where they could show off with them just like you do statues and it's the same same principle except that it's uh, handmade and it's uh, from claw like skin and uh, the framework is made out of baling wire or some type of wire that's sturdy enough to be uh, molded into uh, or shaped into different uh, poses like they do when you uh, some of them will be a fancy dancer, maybe some will be a, a regular war dancer, and some will have, uh, will be like uh, ladies. And when they're ladies, well, they have a little more stuff to put on them. And we have uh, breastplates that we fix for these uh, men folks. And then they sometimes have leggings, others have no pants which they just wear um, uh, a bridge cloth and some maybe some uh, doodads on the side to make them uh, show that they have something on and others have shirts others have vests they have uh, jackets and different kinds of stuff on them and from here you will see that it's right now it's just more or less kind of like skeletal form. Well, he's got to have a face put on him and then he's got to have his hair put on. So he's partially done, but not quite uh, exactly complete. So it'll take a while for me to get him started and, and uh, get him put on the block so that you can uh, display him as a statuette. And that's the story of the little dolls. I call this the art of doll making, Indian doll making. And uh, I started uh, building uh, dolls like this when I was a young girl. And uh, more or less I was forced to because uh, we didn't have any money and uh, our arts and crafts 
weren't selling very good. And uh, and at one time, these dolls were in demand. People wanted them from the east and different parts of the their country because they they were dressed in full regalia. And uh, right now, this thing don't look like very much. But eventually, he's going to have complete clothes, and his uh, he'll, his feet will be encased in moccasins, and his uh, body will have a shirt, and perhaps some kind of uh, ornaments for his uh, chest. And right now, he's bald, but he will be uh, having a head of hair, and he's uh, faceless. But, like I said, he will have a face, and uh, that's what gives him character. And then they uh, will have some, some of them have full gauntlets. Others have just just a hand with uh, maybe bracelets or, or uh, things that adorn them. And most of them are made so that they look like somebody that, in the past, somebody dressed like that. Or maybe... One of your favorite people, you know, had certain things that they liked. And so, therefore, when you made a doll, you kind of depicted somebody that you cared about or uh, somebody that uh, you thought was nice looking. And some, some girls would say, oh, this is my handsome man. And they would uh, continue to uh, dress him up like they, they would uh, make fancy clothes for them and things like that well it got to be where mom and I would build dolls and we'd uh, fix them so that people could uh, stand them on maybe on a dresser or on uh, somewhere where, you, where they could show off with them just like you do statues and it's the same same principle except that it's uh, handmade and it's uh, from cloth, buckskin, and uh, the framework is made out of baling wire or some type of wire that's sturdy enough to be uh, molded into uh, or shaped into different uh, poses like they do when you, uh, some of them will be a fancy dancer, maybe some will be a, a regular war dancer and some will have uh, will be like uh, ladies and when they're ladies well they have a little more stuff put on them and we have uh, breastplates that we fix for these uh, men folks and then they sometimes have leggings others have no pants which they just wear a um, uh, rich cloth and some maybe some uh, doodads on the side to make them uh, show that they have something on. And others have shirts, others have vests, they have uh, jackets, and different kinds of stuff on them. And from here, you will see that it's right now it's just more or less kind of like skeletal form. Well, he's got to have a face put on him, and then he's got to have his hair put on so he's partially done, but not quite uh, exactly complete. So it'll take a while for me to get him started and, and uh, get him put on the block so that you can uh, display him as a statuette. And that's the story of the little dogs.